2024 has been pretty good to the New York Knicks so far. They are 5-0 and with their new trade acquisition, OG Ananobi, and they learned on Wednesday that Mitchell Robinson may be back later this season. Initially, there were fears that Robinson could miss the entire season, so the Knicks applied for a disabled player exception to the NBA. The NBA denied that claim, which means that its, its doctors felt that it was unlikely that Robinson would be out until June 15th. So the Knicks are now optimistic that Robinson can return late in the regular season, and that would be a huge boost to a team that just acquired an elite wing defender in OG Ananobi, and Isaiah Hartenstein has been playing fantastic in Robinson's absence. A lot of people are wondering, would Robinson come in and start? I don't think so, because he's coming. he'd be coming off such a long layoff, and he'd be needing to get his win back, and presumably the Knicks starting five would have found really good chemistry with Isaiah Hartenstein as the starting center. So I don't think Tom Thibodeau would mess with that. I would assume Robinson, as he gets his legs under him, would be coming in, coming off the bench for New York. But let's see him get back on the floor first because that was a pretty significant foot injury that he suffered. Now, the interesting thing here is I know there are some teams – as the trade deadline approaches, wondering about Robinson's physicals, wondering about his status and, and how his injury could impact him long term. Well, now they have some information about Robinson and, and when he might be returning. So maybe that changes how they approach things at the deadline with Robinson. I'm not suggesting that the Knicks would move Robinson, but I do know some teams had been interested to know more about his physical state. And so now they have that information.